I made this photo with my phone and posted it on Reddit. Someone in the comments asked me if I could make a tutorial on how to do that. And I just thought, uh, why not? So I waited about two months now to get a clear sky like this again. The problem is that um, the Milky Way wasn't as bright as when I took this photo. So the photos that I took this time weren't quite as detailed as uh, the one here. But that shouldn't be a problem, I'll try to explain anyways how I did it. First of all, the sky should be clear of any clouds or fog, unless you want that in the picture on purpose, but to get a clear shot of the Milky Way like that, the sky needs to be clear. And the Milky Way bright, of course. That means there shouldn't be any light around you that uh, shines directly on your phone. If it's in the distance, it add some brightness to the picture sometimes it's on purpose like in this one it's not by me by the way and sometimes it's not on purpose like in this one this is also not by me links to those are also both in the description the first picture that I took this night is this one and the other one is this one a tripod would be the best choice to hold your phone but it isn't really necessary. There are other ways. Most people don't have a tripod at hand and I didn't have one either for this video so I just put it on the floor. If you have a chair then you can put it on the edge so you can still press the button to trigger the photo but the simple floor works too. Just make sure you put the phone down as quickly as possible after uh, clicking the trigger button. If you still move the phone while it started taking the photo then it will look blurry. On the P30 Pro I need to go to the Pro mode, into the settings, into the resolution settings and then activate RAW mode and set it to the highest possible resolution. First of all the shutter speed. If I set it to one second then the light will... then the sensor of the camera will capture the light that falls onto it for one for one second. Normal daylight photos are much less than that. Uh, it is even shorter than a hundredth of a second in most photos so it is really really short. In night photography you set that normally way over one second so you really need to keep your phone still or the image will get very blurry. The P30 Pro for example uh, has in simple night mode stabilization function that means you can hold it in your hand while doing a long exposure shot you call that a long exposure shot when you make photos longer than one second or so it's not really defined for star sky shots I usually usually set it to 15 or 20 seconds I don't set it to more than 20 seconds because the the earth moves, that means from our view the sky moves, what again means that you get these strokes over a picture, so the stars move while your phone is taking the photo and that then it again looks like you move the phone while taking the picture and that does not really look good, except in cases like this where you try to achieve, where you try to achieve exactly that, but if it's just a a little bit of these strokes then yeah it doesn't look really good you need to experiment with the settings I recommend 15 to 20 seconds but uh, you can set it higher or lower depending on whatever you want to achieve just try it out what the picture will look like just on a side note uh, raw pictures get really big so don't just take hundreds of photos in raw mode or the cam or the phone will be full in no time then about the about the ISO that's how sensitive the sensor is to light an extreme example is ISO 50 then you will have almost no grainy or noisiness in the picture really almost none of it if you can set the ISO as low as possible you get the best pictures like that but there is one thing if you try to shoot the Milky Way 
then this won't work with a phone right now, the camera is simply not good enough. Uh, with with a really good camera that is capable of doing this, you can set the ISO to about 200 or so. That gives the best shots of the Milky Way. No, uh, or at least almost non noisiness and graininess on the picture. But uh, it gets way too dark if you do if, if you do it with a phone. So I I usually set it to about thousand or even thousand six hundred on my phone. Again, you can experiment with the setting, go higher or lower, do whatever you think uh, may look the best. If you have ISO 50, you get the dark photos with, with almost no noisiness. And if you set to, I'd say, 5000 or 10,000, then you can see pretty much on the photo. But uh, it looks like it's really low quality, so you have noise, it looks grainy, it, it just looks like someone pushed sandpaper over it yeah I hope you know what I mean if you want to go more into detail I won't explain that here better so just search a tutorial on what ISO or shutter speed is if you really want to go into detail and learn more my recommendations for shooting the Milky Way with the phone is ISO 1600 and shutter speed 20 seconds but like I said experiment with these settings you learn the most that way. Okay, so the first photo that I took looked like this. Let's just say it is too dark still. Then you have two possibilities, either crank up the ISO or the shutter speed. In most cases, if you have the shutter speed at 20 seconds, there isn't much use in setting it to 30 seconds or even more. I recommend that you just try it out. But I would first try out to set the ISO higher. You can always set it back down, so there's no harm in trying out. If it's too noisy or too bright even, so you can't see so you can't see much, then I recommend to first uh, set down the ISO, not the shutter speed. If it's a little bit blurry because of a too high sh shutter speed, then of course set down the shutter speed. But if it's just too bright or too noisy, then only set down the ISO. Next thing you need to do is edit it in Lightroom or a similar app. But Lightroom is the best one in my opinion for star sky shots. Again, you can try out different apps, but I'll suggest that you use Lightroom. Again, your choice. I'll just let this recording run in the background. I won't say anything to what I've done while editing this because I'm really am not at all an expert in Lightroom nor in editing photos in general. I can do it and my pictures don't really look that bad but I won't tell other people how I do it because I'm not really doing it the right way or at least I don't feel like I'm doing it the right way because yeah uh, everything that I did here is self-taught and learned through experimenting so yeah Google Lightroom tutorial or whatever editing Milky Way shots tutorial whatever just you can look what I did here but I don't recommend it because like I said I'm an amateur in editing Lightroom so another thing that I wanted to say is now you can start experimenting with uh, putting things in front of the Milky Way like I did in the second picture with the corn I believe it was yeah it was corn with the corn in front of it that obviously doesn't look that good but it was 3 a.m. and I wanted to go to bed so I just took whatever I had I think I'm gonna speed up the Lightroom edit a bit here because yeah uh, actually I'm just beginning up a little bit and right here where it is over for anyone who isn't interested in how I edited it so
use the time, just skip it if you want. Thanks. Okay, um, to clarify something, my channel is really small, on videos like this I usually don't get much more than 20 or 30 views or something like that, so if this video should get more views and people think this is really poorly made, then uh, I'm sorry but I'm not gonna invest uh, like 10 hours in a video that doesn't get more than 20 views, so 
if you want a better one or a detailed one or even just have uh, recommendations on what I could do better critic or I don't know just just write me in the comments if if you guys want a better tutorial or another tutorial on something else just really just write it in the comments because I read every single one of them yeah if you think if you think I should do it better then let me know uh, I hope I could help you a bit and thanks for watching and bye.